Hello everyone, it's Monsignor Sayak with your weekly pastor's message. This is how you stay up to date on everything that's going on in the parish. There's always plenty to be a part of, of the great community that we have here at Christ the King. And we are on the verge of Catholic Schools Week. And we're very excited to share just all the good news that's happening in our parish school. And now that we are a premier member of the Institute for Catholic Liberal Education and we are opening up for admissions for next year. Um, but in the Catholic Schools Week, there's, there's something for everyone and really uh, promoting you know, the, the parish and the school as one community. So we have um, on, on Catholic Schools Week this weekend, the students will be wearing their uniforms at Mass. They'll be passing out some prayer cards that they made for parishioners. Uh, we'll have some students just uh, share a little bit about why, why they love the school. And as, as, that, uh, as the Catholic Schools Week moves on, there's a way for uh, uh, friends and parishioners to be involved in that. Uh, we are looking for, for some more help with, with uh, volunteers to cover some duties in the school for the teachers. Um, they're looking for, uh, of course, those volunteers who have been cleared through our system uh, on that, especially celebrate that Teacher's Day. So to give, um, give the gift of some time to sign up for a slot. There's a, a link in the bulletin you can, you can click on to uh, uh, go to there to sign up to help out the teachers on that. But there's something uh, each day as, as part of Catholic Schools Week. And so we have our open house this Sunday after the 11 o'clock Mass from 12 to 2. And then the following Thursday uh, from 5 to 7 p.m. in the evening. So this is a time to just come and to know, know our school better and to encourage uh, families to consider uh, coming along on this, on this great journey of Catholic education. The Friday of Catholic Schools Week, that's, that's Friday, February 2nd, we are all going on retreat. So the parish staff and the school staff, because we're, we're one community, we are going to be spending the day on retreat together at Mount Angel. Uh, so ask for your prayers for that. We're going to have Mass together at, uh, at St. Mary's Parish in Mount Angel, the historic church there. And then we'll be up at the Abbey Guest House uh, for time for prayer and reflection um, and, and time together. So it should be a, a, a great time and a great way of, of uh, deepening our lives together as we serve you and, and, the, and, the, and their families of our school. This Monday of Catholic Schools Week, the 29th, um, wear, wear our school colors of blue and green at Mass. Um, it's, it's a sign of our, our school spirit. The, uh, the school is also running a hygiene drive for St. Vincent de Paul. Each grade has a, has a certain item that they're collecting. You, if you'd like to be a part of that, of, of toiletries and hygiene items for, for our families uh, in need, uh, you can drop them off at the office, you can put them in the bins in the back of church for St. Vincent de Paul or drop them off at the school. Speaking of which, we have our annual coat drive sponsored by the Knights of Columbus. Knights are collecting coats and blankets to assist those in need. You can drop your donations off at the parish center after Mass on this coming Sunday, uh, January 28th, and on Sunday, February 4th. And just to give you an update of our on our server program, you know, this we have these two groups, the Altar Boys and the Daughters of St. Therese, that are full-fledged programs, not only for serving the liturgy, but also for uh, vocational discernment, which is what serving the liturgy is all about. Um, as of now, we have 41 Altar Boys in our program, and we have 17 Daughters of St. Therese. And I'm happy to report that the Daughters of St. Therese, too, are organizing, and they're going to be making a field trip uh, to the Sisters Convent in West Lynn, the Society of Mary. Um, and so that'll be coming up here. And so the, I'm very excited for the girls that they get, they get this uh, opportunity. And then the bo altar boys were telling me a few of them was like, hey, we need to go on a field trip too. And so we'll, we'll hopefully we'll put together like a, a visit to Mount Angel uh, to the seminary up there for the boys. But just to let you know about the, the good things that are happening in these programs and, and thriving. And of course, if you are a boy or a girl in the parish that you've received your first Holy Communion, I encourage you to join. It's a lot of fun if, to be a part of the Altar Boys or the Daughters of St. Therese. This week, we're also having our quarterly Finance Council meeting, and we have our reports compiled from the second quarter 
uh, for the parish and for the school. And I, I want to thank you at a very strong second quarter. And I think that's a lot of the, the, the positive response all of you made to our, our letters inviting us all to update our tithing or to begin tithing with the parish. Uh, so I'd, uh, we'll be publishing the numbers in the, in the bulletin coming up here soon. Uh, but again, a thank you for all those who have responded so generously because uh, we're all in this together and, uh, and it's, it's wonderful to help fund our mission. We have February 10th, uh, an apostolate leaders retreat that's going to be happening starting with Mass at 8.30 and concluding by 2 p.m. And so it'll be time of all of our apostolate leaders. I, I'd ask you all to be there. And if you can't be there, that's, there would be somebody representing your apostolate at, the, at this uh, retreat. It'll be a time to get together, to get to know each other a little bit better, to worship together, to pray together before our Lord in the Eucharist because uh, we are a Eucharistic parish and time of discussion, especially of, of how we inculcate the pastoral vision and, the, and our playbook in the way we do all of our apostolates. This will be a way of pulling all our apostolates together in a, in a deeper unity and, and cohesion as we accomplish the mission of our parish, which is to bring each other into that transformative relationship with Jesus and the Eucharist. Then on the evening of February 10th, that's after the 5.30 Mass, we have our Mardi Gras and bingo party. Getting ready for Lent to blow off a little steam before we begin our Lenten uh, observances. And so uh, mark your calendars. It'd be great to have a good turnout and time to be together. It'll be a lot of fun. There'll, there'll be lasagna. There'll be um, bingo games, beer and wine, free will offering. Um, so... Uh, there'll be extra cookie, bring your extra cookies, candy, and dessert in preparation for Lent. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. God bless you. We'll see you next time.